you can be in a scenario where you have recurrence of both drilling-induced tensile fractures and breakouts at the same time. And in this scenario, you can use the equations, the curse, so the curse solution equations to, and, and other things we know or talked about in this class, to get an estimate of the rock strength, the C0, if you will. So normally, we, we, the only way we can get the rock strength is to go back to the lab, right? Take out a core, go to the lab, and do what you guys have been doing in the lab, measure the amplified compressor strength. But a few weeks ago, we, when we were talking about breakouts, this before spring break, um, we had, I showed this equation where you can basically rearrange uh, the, the Kirsch equations, including some information about breakouts and other things to get uh, this guy. And so, uh, this equation, so these are WBO. By the way, again, when we were talking about the homework, you might be tempted to go and look at this equation and sort of rearrange it or figure, don't do that. You won't get very far that way. So I think this is the only equation that we've covered so far that actually has explicitly wellbore breakout where it's in it. And so, you know, just students always want to use this equation to solve the homework. Because, you know, you're just looking for, you're used to just looking for an equation to solve something, right? And this is the only equation in the whole notes that actually includes what we're breaking out with. But you're not going to be able to solve anything with this equation. You're not going to be able to solve that question with this equation. So anyway, so we had we had this equation. We talked about it. We talked about what we're breaking out with. Then you can include uh, from the the curse equation. When you have uh, tensile fractures, you have this equation. And so what you can do is you can equate the two. Right? So you can equate the two because this is SH max. And so then, uh, well, I guess I don't. But if you, if you equate the two, so say you, move, you measured SH min from some leak off test. Now your delta P is your normal mud, you know, it's your normal delta P. So we're not, this is not, we're not looking for that breakdown pressure. But this is the normal mud weight minus the pore pressure. You know the pore pressure. You can assume that the tensile strength is very small or zero. You can monitor the wellbore breakout width in some way. You know SH min. The point is everything in both of these equations is known except for C0. And so if you equate the two, you can solve for C0 in the presence of both drilling-induced tensile fractures and breakouts. And you can get an estimate to the rock strength in, in situ. So what is delta P again? This is a normal delta P, uh, the mud weight minus the pore pressure. I just didn't want to, I just trying to point out, you know, in the last slide we were talking about, like, this delta P where where we, instead of the mud weight, we're using the, the breakdown pressure. So this is the normal delta P. Yeah. 